So we're joined by Michelle, who's managed to use machine learning to help her check the tuning of her musical instruments. Michelle, welcome to the show. And to start, tell us more about yourself. Hi, I'm Michelle. So I have a UX, UX background. I work as a designer for um, a lot for, for a living. And um, I graduated from Parsons as um, with communication design um, background. And now I'm studying at ITP, which is a program in NYU that um, teaches new media arts. Awesome. And I hear you've been experimenting and using ML5.js to ensure your instruments are tuned correctly. And what was your inspiration to make this? So um, I love playing guitar, even though I'm not really good at it. And um, whenever I have to tune my guitar, I need to find my um, guitar tuner, which uh, if you know, the physical tuner is really tiny. And I mm -hmm. lost it quite often. I need to buy a new one always. Um, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes yeah. when, when I need it urgently, I will just um, go to um, YouTube and then search, search like a guitar tone sound and then tune it with my ears, but it won't work as well. So I think, I see. why don't yeah. I just make an online tuner that um, works perfectly and then it looks good too. Excellent. Yeah, and that's a great use case uh, for a reason to make such a thing. So that's, that's super cool. Uh, can you show us a demo of it in action? I'd love to see this. Yeah, sure. So this is my demo and this is a platform called TFRJS, which um, most of my uh, visuals are made from made with this library. And so here's the interface and I have my console running that's um, listening to frequency right now, which um, for now it's listening to my voice. And yeah, and then um, the string, the, the lines here are um, mapped to the guitar string. So the first string will be the first string on your guitar. And when you click on it, it will show you um, whether or not you are reaching to the right pitch. So I think it's, yeah. So this will show that it's perfect. And then if you can see that um, um, this visual is actually inspired by the artist, um, Jens Tural, and um, which he liked to use lights. And um, there's a gradient that um, shows um, the outer will be the frequency right now and then the inner part will be the correct frequency so if you get to the right frequency the outer um, color will be same as the inner one so when it turns to a solid color you know you've got it correctly tuned essentially yes if there's a yeah, solid color awesome. on the gradient it'll be there. <laughs> and then um, if you get the snake game. Yeah, if you have your oh, I might listen to my voice, but if you have your um, um, strings tuned well, then you can play the snake game, which is controlled by by your string. So uh, what models did you use to make this project actually work? So it's a pre-trained model called creep under ML5. You just have to call this function pitch detection in your code, and then you can grab all the frequency yeah, you can use. Very useful model. <laughs> yes, it's really fun. So does this work across different types of instruments, or do you need to train a model for each type, like a violin versus a guitar? So um, even though different instrument has different sound, but um, since it's catching the frequency, so it actually works for all different um, instruments and even um, human voices. Okay, 
That's cool. So if, if any brave people are, are here, they can try to sing along and try their voices as well. That, that's awesome. I shall be trying that later for sure. <laughs> yes, but for my guitar tuner, there's only um, six frequencies, which is the guitar frequencies. Sure, that makes sense. So you just change the interface to accommodate other instruments or other things, but um, in the realm of possibility, maybe for a future V2 or V3 of the project. <laughs> yes. Um, awesome, that's cool. And if people who are watching right now want to try this out for themselves, how can they do so? Is it on a website somewhere? Uh, yes, um, I'll have my P5 Jazz link available in the description. OK, perfect. Excellent. Yeah, we'll add that to the description after the show. Um, so do check that out if you're interested in this project. And I guess, um, what ideas are you planning to make in the future? Anything else you got lined up using ML5? Yeah, um, as I mentioned, um, I'm very inspired by James Turrell. So I'm really into light installation. And um, as a UX designer, probably I might go back to my UX job after a graduate. So I really want to try out more installation art before I graduate from ITP. Awesome. That, that's just cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would like to control lights with um, machine learning. Oh, amazing. I look forward to seeing that in action later. Uh, I think physical installations are really uh, nice pieces, especially for the JavaScript community. They're starting to realize how much you can do with JavaScript and like hardware as well. Nice. Um, and yeah, I'd love to see that in the future. So do let us know what you make. Um, so thank you. thank you very much for being on the show today. It's been great to hear what you've been creating and uh, talk to you soon. Thank you.